welcome back to the channel i know the other vlog isn't up right now because i haven't edited it yet the other one is from when i picked up the integra but not the one from when i picked up the ek but so i've been having an, a cold start problem like in the morning and like or the first time you started after leaving it for like two four hours sitting you go start it again it like won't it won't crank like like i mean and you won't crank it will crank it'll turn over it'll get fuel it'll get air you'll hear the the relays kick on and everything then you'll turn it over and it'll like start bog and then die it will just keep doing it and doing it until like the 10th try it'll start up and then start idling very low at like 5000 i mean 500 rpm but today I'm also changing the throttle cable because it's sticky. I just got back from the pick and pull. I just picked up a new one. Oh, not a new one, but I picked up another one. And I also picked up a trunk seal because this one's all fucked up and it's leaking from there as well. But last night I did an oil change on the EK and I stripped the interior for the rear because there's a trunk leak and water's getting like, even on the back seats, it's how bad it is. But I know where the leak's coming from. I gotta fix it, but today we might just be cleaning it. If you look at it now, it's just a puddle and it's hella messy. I don't know why, but this trunk seal is like hella fucked up. It's not sealing shit. So I picked up another one and take this one off. But right now, I'm gonna take off the old throttle cable and then clean the the throttle body because it's sticky as well but i'm gonna take it off charge the gopro and then when i put the new one on i'll get back to you guys all right so i got the throttle cable installed and i didn't film it because i was just trying to get it done but i'll show you what i did like what i had to do so when i started up it was idling but it was idling really low and I got it to where it was warmed up a little bit, where it would stay on at least at like two, 200 RPM, which is really low. And I just kept messing with the throttle cable, tightening it slowly by slowly until it started idling at uh, 900 RPM. But right now, this is what I'm doing. I got the vacuum, and I don't want to vacuum up all this water, so I gotta go like this, and then bam. I'll take off the trunk seal. So if you ever need to take off a trunk seal on an EK or EG or any sedan or coupe, you would just pull it off of these pinch welds and just pull it all off and then you can pull it over the trunk. But yeah, let's get to this. So the interior is gutted now. After we clean up, then I think I might just put the front seats in and leave the rears gutted so I can respray the trunk and the back seats. I want to spray them black, but I got to sand them and whatnot. But look at this, bro. What the fuck is this? Like dookie stains. This is disgusting. What the fuck? And it smells like piss over here, too.
So right now, we scrubbed it, the rear seats and the trunk. She did the trunk, I did the rear seats. And now we're just drying it with the heat gun. But all these like little cracks like right here, these like little weld areas, this is where all the water's leaking from. If you look underneath here, you can see it. So I'm gonna clean it with some soap and water. And then I'm gonna go and apply some of the silicone on both sides and that should do the trick okay so i don't know if you can hear me but this is what i have right now it's all drying up like it's supposed, it's supposed to be clear like this but i'm trying to do a better job than i did i just threw it on there and wiped it but this side i use the heat gun to try to dry it faster and don't don't do that like do not use the heat gun with silicone it just makes it fucking bubble and doesn't stick so this side I had to redo but car is looking pretty clean uh, it's dry too so but the seats are all over there and we have like it's this is vacuum that you can squirt out water or like soak with it and then wipe it and it sucks it all up I'm gonna clean the seats probably sell the rear seats because I don't think I'm gonna put them back in and then we're gonna do the carpet too but Let's get to it. the interior and the trunk and the reason why I did that uh, why I cleaned the trunk as well was because it was moldy it was like a swimming pool and I was gonna fix the leaks I tried to fix the leaks and I covered them with silicone all those like cracks and whatnot and it's still leaking so if you got any suggestions leave it in the comments if you had an EK or even an EG coupe and you had the same problems or even the sedans if you had the same problem and then let me know because it's pissing me off i just want my trunk to not leak it's just literally, literally that simple i just want to not leak no more i don't know what the hell it is i've been trying for hella long now but since the interior is already stripped um i pulled this this off so i go pull this wire harness down because they cut the connector for it which is this right here and i don't know what they did with it or where they put it but when i was at the pick and pull today i pulled this off as well as this which goes for this side but i don't know where these clip into so if you know if this side the green the two greens are also for the deck let me know in the comments because I don't think they are. I think it's just that one big clip. Because why would it be all this shit as well? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But for right now, I'm about to take this and splice them together to that. So that way I can buy the adapter, connect it onto here, and get a deck and put it in. But yeah. My brother in law came through with the hub. For the EK mm, got for 20 bucks and now I'm just waiting for my paycheck so that way I can buy a quick release and the steering wheel that I want for this car but yeah here I'm a 
I'm gonna just do a time lapse of me soldering all this bullshit. Oh, and then I'm gonna buy a short shifter soon too. put everything back together in the car and after cleaning it the seats are <laughs> soaking wet but I want to take this car and I don't know why the light keeps turning off and on for the cluster but so this is what I did I wired this all back up so that way I have this plug now so I can put a radio in and yeah the car is way much more clean now but the rear is still gutted. It's gonna stay like that. It's not gonna change. But god damn, there's already hella water back there. What the fuck? Oh my god. But yeah. Thanks for watching the vlog. 